Stop by to interact with the community and I every Friday night at 8 o'clock for live stream Fridays. Welcome trolls. <laughs>
sometimes the telescope can shake a little bit like you're seeing right here well you see that's just the wind and as it's panning down or moving angles the telescope as, as it's following the moon because some people don't know this the moon is always moving right all the time and this is how fast it's moving this is slowed down so you, the telescope you have to continuously continually follow it what is that object i just pointed to i don't know what it is when i say it's towering well if you look at the moon the other way it's towering that's why i often turn the moon around to get a view an image of what it looks like this is exactly how it is this is right side up um, it's not hard the cameras inside my telescope always in the same area there's a red line aligned with the top and it's always been the same so even if it's aligned to crooked well if ever there's a change we're still going to see it because i'm always aligned the same way so it's incredible the comparison though compared to the d3400 the d3400 showed us a lot of surface objects and details but this is incredible because we're seeing the smaller details and i'm excited because that's um what we need uh, you know to prove it all to be able to really see uh, what's up there see the green clearings colorful clearings on the right doesn't it remind you isn't it earth like well there's if you look carefully you'll see smokes and hazes what looks like it anyways over top and near some of the craters so that is some of what i'm going to be analyzing and of course documenting to be sure um to be sure i see if there are any changes it's going to be interesting i'm not saying there are changes i'm not saying there's even an atmosphere on the moon i could be absolutely wrong but um what john lear showed us and what i was able to find using the telescope seeing straight up common sense hmm leads me to believe that uh you know there is a smoke or haze we know that whether it's natural or not i think it's besides the point it's hiding something right it's hiding beautiful surface structures and objects um, that people aren't recognizing because they have the same reflectivity as the surface. Isn't it incredible? All these things that we find all the time when that Terminator line comes along and shows us some detail. Thanks for watching, everyone.